Hi Taurus and welcome to your weekly tarot reading. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well. This, as you know, is a general reading for any sun, moon, or rising Taurus sign. We will take a look at the cards to get a sense of the awareness for the week. Okay, so we have the Eight of Wands, we have the Lover's Major Arcana, and we have the Page of Pentacles. So the Eight of Wands is a card of movement, of things in motion, lots of plans being made. You're feeling uh, that you have a lot going on. And so whether you are working on specific projects or you are closing projects or perhaps thinking about what's next, there's just certainly a lot of activity. When we see the Eight of Wands, we're looking at communication often. And you're, um, you may need to make a quick response to someone, a swift response. And so whether you, you're communicating by email or by text or by letter um, you know, or by a phone call, there's this sense of uh, communications going through. And so pay attention to your written word, pay attention to how you speak, what you say. Um, the, the Eight of Wands can suggest the news is coming. Often, and if you read a lot of the older books like the, um, I, forgot, I think it's Eden Gray, I forgot her name, uh, we're talking about the potential of meeting someone. And so it's so interesting because here's the lovers right next to the Eight of Wands. And so the lovers is this uh, very significant relationship, a card of unity, a, uh, a coming together of people who really are attracted to each other, who enjoy each other's company, who are developing or building intimacy for those that are, that this is a romantic uh, possibility for you. There's passion, but there's, um, there's this openness to putting yourself out there to get, your, get to know someone. You know, the icons here are without clothes and that, that's the risk that we take when we let our guard down and we're open. We, get, uh, we have the chance to get hurt in relationships. And so you're putting your faith in building and developing a relationship. And the lovers is about relationships, whether they are romantic or whether they're deep bonds of platonic, um, a platonic nature. But it's the um, coming together of two people. And, you know, this is where you get to know each other's core values of what you believe about money, about life, about children, about the path that you take. And often when we look at the lover's card, there's a sense of perhaps that you have to make decisions or, or think about things. And we talk through these things in relationships in terms of... Um, you know, of building that intimacy. Are we headed down the same path? Is this a relationship that could be, uh, lead to engagement, living together, exclusivity, marriage? If you're already married, again, it's pay attention to your relationship to show, uh, show gratitude for your partner, to work on intimacy, to work on rekindling perhaps, you know, passion if necessary. But it's a transformative card because it's a opportunity to have this really satisfying and emotionally fulfilling relationship with someone else. So then we have the Page of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles is this sweet, young, earnest energy that is studying, studying and more studying, observing, looking at that pentacle thinking about how am I going to gain more knowledge in this particular area. There's a sense here of learning something new, of wanting to learn something new. And you're willing to do the research. You're willing to do the uh, reading. You know, go online, research, read. If you're interested in pursuing a new area, a new hobby, a side hustle, or, you know, supplementing your career. 
And this is about, it's about gaining knowledge, wanting to gain knowledge, wanting to gain experience and dedicating yourself. When we see pentacles, it's this grounded practical energy, which is I'm going to make my list and I'm going to check off my list and I'm going to do all my homework on time. I'm going to get it all done because I'm going to apply myself and I'm going to uh, do things in a measured but successful fashion. So it's the, uh, you know, pages can bring offers or messages. So perhaps the message here is to, in terms of a relationship, you may be getting to know someone. You may be, you know, I wouldn't say studying, but you're learn, you learn about someone if something's new or if someone's new within your life. You're, you're getting to know them. You're gaining wisdom about this other person. So interesting reading for Friday where we have communication, we have news, we may have uh, to make a quick decision, we may have to be on top of things. And whether you're hoping your new project is, is related to a relationship, but there's certainly this sense of gathering knowledge and gathering uh, information as it relates perhaps to a relationship as, as could be in the early stages where you get to know someone and uh, you learn to communicate with each other. So interesting reading for Friday. Let's take a look at the numbers. We have eight and six is 14 and one is 15 and that reduces to six and six is about social consciousness, it's about compassion, sometimes about um, finding stability and looking for peace. And then finally I'm going to choose an oracle card and we'll see what additional information we can discover. Cosmic Gateway your thoughts are magnetic and powerful. Miraculous changes are occurring. The cosmic gateway, Horus. So a beautiful card. Cosmic changes are occurring. What I really like and what I truly believe is your thoughts are magnetic. Your actions and your thoughts are magnetic. And what you put out there and what you think comes back to or attracts the right type of vibe, the right type of situations and the right type of people as well. So all the best to you on Friday. I hope you have an awesome day. If you enjoyed this reading, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like, share or comment and come join me tomorrow for another reading. Take care. Bye bye.